multiply and simplify. Assume that all variables in a radicand represent positive real numbers. Okay, so we have a cube root times a cube root. So we have the same roots, cube root times cube root. We can use the product rule to write this as one big cube root, where everything inside is multiplied. Now the 8 and the 4, I'm going to put those together. And the x to the 13th and the x to the 16th, I'm going to put those together. And the y and the y to the 7th, I'm going to put those together. So I can now, let's see, I'm going to factor the 8 and the 4. So that's 2 and 2 and 2 for the 8 and 2 and 2 for the 4. The x's, however, I'm going to combine these by adding the exponents to get x to the 29. And y to the 1 and 7 is 8. Okay. Now 3 goes into 29, 7 remainder 2 times, and 3 goes into 8, 2 remainder 2 times. We can use this information to know how many x's and y's come out, x to the 7th and x squared inside, and y squared and y squared inside. Now cube root, we're looking for groups of 3. There's a nice group of 3 2's, so I can pull a 2 out. I can pull a total x to the seventh out and a y squared out. These are the whole numbers right here. That's how many I can pull out. And on the inside of our cube root, we do have 4. And we have remainder 2, so x squared, and remainder 2, y squared. And this would be fully simplified using the product rule and then this technique which is similar to factoring. I hope this helps.